Hi, uh, my name is Piotr and you are watching a video about my camper van and about the journey of uh, how it became reality. Enjoy it! So it already started a few years ago when I was working on the film sets and being away from home for a couple of months straight, uh, paying extortions uh, longer rent for nothing. Um, also the film sets themselves uh, essentially are one big traveler campsites anyway. Um, hence I've decided to embrace it all the way. Um, I bought my first camper van. Uh, it was a self built made by a gentleman called Darren. Based on the Citroen Relay 2007 medium wheelbase. It was a cool van but made for holidays, not for full time living. Um, still, it was a good experience and the proof of concept of such a lifestyle um, that encouraged me to take it further. And that's how the idea of uh, building my own camper van was born. However, I had to address all the flaws that I had while living in the old one. So I created the list of my requirements, including uh, uh, more storage, more power, I wanted uh, more multi-purpose ergonomic space, um, obviously better security, uh, privacy, uh, I like stealth look outside and home feel inside. So there was a small problem though, um, I've never built or did any serious DIY job before. For full disclosure, um, uh, most of my professional life I was driving trucks or buses and I haven't brought any tradesman skills uh, to this uh, project uh, for my job. Um, however, I thought that this is actually a good opportunity to address this issue and um, learn new skills and benefit for the future. So I've started by buying uh, some books, uh, watch a ton of YouTube videos about uh, camper vans, uh, tiny houses and off-grid living spaces and joined many self-built DIY internet groups to educate myself. Also, I had to learn the software first. Uh, good thing that I'm a bit of a geek and I actually found the designing process quite fun and interesting. Um, the only trouble was that I, because of no real life uh, experience, I was getting carried away with the ideas and I was coming with all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, it was a little bit like being a little prince of uh, van building, uh, loads of beautiful ideas with limited relationship reality and the price for this was yet to be paid. While doing this, I've started to look out for someone who would be capable of uh, building it with me, as well as contacting people who build similar projects to ask questions and consult. At um, the same time, I was constantly looking for my base vehicle and ended up buying this uh, charming LDV Maxus 2007 Luton van. It was solid, clean and relatively cheap van. Uh, at least it seemed so at first. So when I finally found someone who would be able to help me to start building my dream house on wheels, I've headed up to Lublin in Poland where conversion started. Initial stage took three months to complete um, and as I don't want to stretch this video forever, I'll be making a full video about my conversion process separately. So if you are interested in this one, subscribe and hang around with me for that one. Okay, so here we are. Um, as present, van is made to resemble commercial vehicle look, giving away its uh, camper properties as little as possible. It's something that works great in the cities, but it isn't very popular among UK camping ground owners for some reason. Um, on the roof there is 300 watt solar panels and two skylights. 
On the side of the van there is two windows with blinds for stealth CD mode. Below two storage compartments, one housing 45 liter LPG tank and water inlet. The other is a storage only. Then at the back we've got two times 25 liter grey water tanks. Inside, finish is made with pine wood cladding and break with some wallpaper to avoid sound alarm. I've chosen wood finish uh, to give it warm, homely feel, plus insulation and moisture control properties. On the front, I've got a double bed in Luton area with a skylight above. On side, there is uh, two windows with regulated vents uh, to allow cross ventilation even when the windows uh, blinds are shut. Um, next, there is a little collapsible shelf on the side and 12 and 240 volt outlet. In the middle there is a heater control located in the way so it can be accessed from any position in bed as well as from the ground. Um, in winter the whole area uh, can be isolated from the rest of uh, habitation space and fed with its own heat outlets to save energy as much as possible. As I had to extend my bed platform to meet double bed standards, I've used this frame to uh, build desk with storage. On the right hand side there are three cupboards uh, that double up as stairs. Uh, on the left hand side there is the cupboard with wiring and instruments. Also half of a desktop is uh, mounted on hinges in order to first quickly secure all the stuff that sits on a desk before driving off and to allow more space in the center that can be used for a variety of reasons and other than multi-purpose space. One of them is to let the sliding one drop out. Um, let me give you a quick explanation here. I think that for full-time living, um, having a bathroom and toilet in the van is essential. Um, although use frequency isn't that great and learning from my last experience I knew I will end up storing stuff in the bathroom because of uh, lack of the other options um, and then when I actually wanted to take the shower it was a mission of uh, taking it out uh, having a shower drying the space and packing things back um, this way from five minutes shower it turns into a half an hour plus mission that's why Urbivan was built with slide out wardrobe slash storage. Uh, and that actually was a treat. Um, I was initially quite worried about security and stability of this installation, but after crossing Alps, Pyrenees, and doing some quite serious off roading while accessing climbing location, uh, my worries were put to rest. Um, coming back to the tour, once the wardrobe is out, there is an access to the wet room with composting toilet. On the other side, uh, there is located kitchen with a folding removable table. Um, this is to allow the L-shaped working space for time of a more serious kitchen action and have it folded away when needed. Um, other than that, there is a four hop cooker with a skyline above uh, to allow cooking vapors out and let the natural light in. Uh, further, we've got a lot of cupboards. Um, the one above the sink has a dryer rack in it uh, to allow to drip back to a sink. This is quite simple, but useful and convenient design. Now, um, floor has the basement com compartments running along the length of the box. Uh, the one in the kitchen area is food storage and fridge, but only in the winter as I have not come around to fully insulate it and installing compressor. Um, still, it's quite good space to store food. Um, the compartments in the middle is where many components like 70 liter fresh water tank, um, some electronics and distribution box live. Uh, another compartment holds 160 amp hour lithium iron yttrium phosphate battery and the gas heater. 
so this is roughly it. Um, obviously, Van isn't finished to today's date, and in reality, it will never be. Um, however, I've reached the comfort um, and functionality which I'm very happy about and started taking the time for using the van for what it was uh, made for, which is uh, happy living. Um, what are my conclusions? Um, van life can be absolutely awesome. Um, it provides alternative, uh, flexible, comfortable, um, smart and cheapish way of, uh, of, of living. If it's done right. Um, I'm also very happy that I've went the route of Selby because of the knowledge, skills and probably most importantly confidence I have acquired. Um, this video is my way of saying thank you to collective of self builders and people sharing their knowledge out there in different forums, groups and platforms. So massive thank you um, and yes it is a bit of a show off because everyone who made the fun show it off and hopefully it is my contribution to, to the collective knowledge of, um, um, of self Cumberland. If there are any questions uh, please leave them in the comments. If you are interested in more videos like building process, um, day of life in the van and some instructional ones, go ahead and subscribe. For now thank you very much for watching and good luck with your own project. Peace. Thank you.